if we would all be honest, we would admit that we're not always as great as keeping ourselves together as we would like to, to, to present that we are. Sometimes our emotions are all over the place and sometimes we are not as, as positive uh, speaking as we should be. And me, myself included, that even though I'm a faith-filled person, I don't always speak faith-filled words and I should and I have to reel myself back in. And I want to remind you for this daily point um, of what the word says in Psalms 121. It says that he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. That means you take Israel then, put yourself in there, put your family, put your address, put your zip code, put your business, uh, put your, um, your plan, uh, put your finances, put it there. He who keeps that will neither slumber nor sleep. What that means is while you're staying awake at night, go to sleep because he will never lose sleep over that which he can control. It might look like it's out of control to you, but all things are in control because he has a different perspective that we do not have. Then it goes on and says, he is the keeper. The Lord is the keeper of my soul. My soul means my emotional part, meaning when I'm all over the place, Lord, keep me in place. <laughs> when I'm all over the place, when I'm not where I need to be and I'm not as faithful as I need to be, put me back in place. You need somebody. You need a God who's able to put you back in place, who's not scared of your attitude or scared of your personality and say, get, get yourself together. He is the keeper of my soul and he is a shade at my right hand. That means that no matter what tries to overwhelm me, no matter what tries to cause me to get off of focus and cause me to lose my, my, my footing, he's a shade at my right hand. He will make sure that I will not stumble. He will make sure that I do not fall. He will make sure that whatever I need, he overwhelms me with his presence. I want to make sure you know today that he's the keeper of your soul, the one who's able to put you back in line, and he will never lose sleep over that which he has control over. Let me pray with you. Father, I thank you for who you are. I thank you for being that great keeper. I pray, Lord, that today we would surrender what we've been trying to keep together and we're not doing a good job of it, and that we would surrender to you so that you could keep us, keep our emotions, put us back in place. We admit we have not always done a good job of staying in place and position where we need to be. Put us back where we need to be. In Jesus' name, amen.